Okay, folks. Well, you can see what's going on here. We are getting gear together. And getting gear together means we are getting closer to heading north for the first time this year. I'd say we're within a week of heading up there. And uh, this is a small amount of what's going to be heading up with us. Uh, we're going to be putting up the farm gates at the entrance. Uh, me and my friend Kevin, he's going to join me up there for a few days for that trip. So we are just getting started. And anyone who knows or who has a cottage or a trailer knows that uh, this is how it starts. With a list and then a pile of uh, gear. So this is just a small amount of what's going to be going up. And got some big news. We got a new piece of equipment that's going to be making the, the trip with us. So I will do a full review on this uh, Husky battery saw. My first, my first uh, I guess, foray into the battery technology as far as chainsaws go. And uh, we went in big, didn't mess around. Um, there's a full backstory to this saw. And uh, unfortunately, my still uh, MS200T which is really one of my favorite saws and a real uh, a saw with a great heritage and reputation and is loved by tree guys. Uh, so my, my 200 needs a full rebuild. Uh, crank, seals, bearings, piston, cylinder, full top end. So I am not gonna have that saw for a little while. And I didn't wanna head up there uh, without a, a small limbing saw. Um, part, of, part of the job up there to put the farm gates up is going to be widening out the driveway quite a bit. Um, so there's lots of, lots of cutting, lots of limbing, lots of thinning. And I thought that this was going to be a great addition to the, to the saw family. Uh, the idea also is that, um, you know, it's easy to use for uh, Charlotte and my wife after a little bit of training um, and in the back of the four-wheeler when we are riding on the trails or cutting new trails um, I'm thinking that this is going to be great easy, easy to start just pull the trigger uh, keep it filled up with bar oil and, and away you go so lots of reviews out there lots of unboxing of, of new stuff I don't do the unboxing uh, what I want to give you is a true kind of impression or comparison of how I think this stacks up against uh, the still uh, 020, 200, uh, 201 top handle saws, all of which I've, I've run. And um, I had an 020, uh, gave that to Martin, my buddy Martin, who you see in the other videos, gave that to him. Someone wanted it more than he. Wanted it, I suppose, is a nice way to say it. So he lost that saw and he replaced that with a 201. So I've had a chance to run all those saws. So I'll see how this stacks up against it. I'm hoping for good things. Um, they say this battery is rated for 40 minutes doing tree work. Uh, it comes, this kit comes with two batteries and the quick charger is uh, able to charge that battery in 40 minutes. So theoretically, you should be able to just um, just continue on cutting like you would if you were filling it up with with gas and bar oil and just being able to continual continually operate the saw without without any downtime. So so we'll see. Um, it's going to be interesting. I am looking forward to it. I can tell you that it's uh, it's um, it's a real high rubber. It's got a lot of chain speed, and that is one of the major drawbacks at this point of battery saws. Um, complaints from operators about a slow chain speed. And um, I actually had a, I had a Milwaukee uh, rear handle 18 volt chainsaw. And I had it for about a week at Christmas time. It was a gift. And I, I was cutting on the log pile with it. I was gonna do a review. I was gonna, you know, go through the whole thing and how it compared to a gas saw. But I was so underwhelmed with that Milwaukee rear handle saw. I was really so underwhelmed. 
with it that I decided that it wasn't even worth doing a review for. So it got boxed up and, and returned, unfortunately. So um, this, this, I think, is going to be a different story. And um, I think it, it's going to all come down to chain speed. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, like I said, we'll do the review. I'll get into it. We'll do some cutting. And uh, hopefully it'll help someone out there make a decision whether this would be a right fit for them or not. Anyhow, it's coming. Uh, there's going to be a lot more to do and get ready for before we head up. But I think the next part of this video is going to be truck and trailer loaded and headed for the Bruce. So I will catch you on that video and I am definitely looking forward to getting up there. All right. Thanks for watching.